Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I just got done filming uh, an entire 20 minute video of me doing all of this. It's Friday night. Um, I had the day off because I had to go to a doctor appointment that was an hour and a half away. So your girl's tired, but I was like, oh, I really want to do a get ready with me because one of my friends had requested it and said, hey, can you do like an, an, a fun like color eyeshadow look? So I was like, bet, yeah, that'd be so fun. Boy, did it go wrong. <laughs> we went horribly wrong. And I went through and I started watching it and I'm like, you know what? I look f***ing ridiculous. So we're going to do something else. I'll do that on my weekend, I promise. But instead, I'm just going to show and kind of talk and show what I used on my face and just pretend like I'm doing it. <laughs> um, so to start, I used, which it's all on, where'd it go? Oh my gosh, yeah, where'd it go? Ah, ha, 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 there it is. See, I'm already so chaotic, love it. So I use this e.l.f. Dewy Drop or Dew Drop Primer, and then after I use this Kat Von D Pore Refining Primer because your girl has some big pores and I'm not a fan. Um, then for eyebrows, I'm still in my dip brow era, as you can see they look not good. So not judging. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've had it <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Um, and it's in the shade chocolate because as you can see my natural hair is very dark <gasps> Oh my gosh, never mind all the white <laughs> I didn't know how white my hair was getting because I have been dyeing my hair since 10th grade and I finally well, I went blonde and That was way too expensive. So I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna go back red because I love I just love the red on me and I'm like, I'm gonna let my natural grow out stop messing with it and that's when I saw all the white and I'm like oh okay okay it's genetic my grandmother had um completely white hair by 30 and her hair looks badass so I'm like you know I'm not mad about it but that's what I use for my eyebrows and then oh I don't even know why I had this setting out sometimes I also use this was given to me by my mom but I looked at the price and I use it sparingly because it's kind of pricey um then for my face foundation I use covergirl true blend matte made in the color light ivory because I am pale I'm Casper over here and then for concealer I use covergirl true blend undercover in the shade ivory and then for my contouring, I used Fenty Beauty Amber. And I use, like I was saying in a previous video, I don't have good luck with blending cream, or I didn't. This is really blendable. And you have to work at it. I use, oh, this brush over here. Sorry for that weird angle. And I couldn't tell you what company. This was a gift a long time ago, but it works really well. And it's kind of not the big fluffy like powder brush or it's more firm and so that's what I use and in circular motions and I get it so my blush situation did not go as planned but um, I used covergirl true blend so flushed and it it was a disaster I mean it's in the other video which I'm not gonna include because how embarrassing but it was like, it's super pigmented, a little powdery, and I didn't take that into account before I just went like, whoop, and it was just <laughs> blush all up my face and I had to fix it. Um, I use, for powder, which everything's kind of escaping me at the moment, but it's Anastasia Translucent Powder. I guess I'll say that, because that's, I don't, I'm blah. And then for highlighter, I used Jeffree Star hypothermia which you can and then for the eyes I used well I used two different ones I used this one which is from Odin's eye and this is the first time I used it this is part of my mom's last haul that she sent me and I used 
Let me see, there we go. I use this one for the overall blend, then this one for the outer corner, and then even a little bit of this purple. And then for the middle shimmer situation, I used this one here, Animalia. The other one is Rescue, Sanctuary, and Pride. And then I also did that under my eyes with a smaller brush. And oh, I also did this Fauna in my inner corners, which you can now see because my wonderful boyfriend surprised me with a ring light so I could have better lighting. And it's amazing, I love it. And I'm just so grateful for everyone I have in my life, really. And especially, I saw that there's, I went and checked to see how the views were going on my other videos, and they're over 60, and I have 11 subscribers, and I'm so excited. But um, this one, Pat McGrath Mothership, I remember this was, um, like, literally my favorite palette of all time. My mom got it for me for my birthday, and, oh, God, I was so excited. So grateful. Um, and I use this, this right here. It doesn't have a name on it, but I'll just swatch it. And I use that for, you can see that it's very, no, I should be able to swatch. Yeah, yes I can. Yes, ma'am. And I use that to highlight under my brow. And then I tried to use this, uh, it's in there. I'm not going to reach for it. This Dior um, Red, or Rouge lipstick. But that clashed so much with the pink. It just, I, I put it on and I'm like, nope. And I grabbed a tissue and I just started wiping it off. So instead, just in a pinch because I was panicking. So I was still filming. <laughs> I chose this Milani Elegant Super Matte, or not Super Matte, Matte Satin. It smells a little weird. Like it just always has from the get-go this isn't that old but it, it goes away when it dries so I'm not that mad about it if you see it smeared it's because that was from the other one <laughs> it's it's chaotic it was chaotic that's the one word I could say um and I love this one because if you want to pair a gloss over it like I can actually show you awkward angle awkward angle so I'll do this Revlon glazing lilac and it pairs really well with gloss on top without it like giving away and kind of just melting away oh that was a lot I mean would I have chosen this for this look probably not but I'm just showing you it works really well so definitely you can get this at I think it was on my teeth that's awkward uh, CVS, Target, any kind of drugstore type has these, so I suggest you go take take a take a gander because they have all kinds of colors too. So it's just amazing. And then for eyeliner, I did this Better Than Sex Liquid Eyeliner, and for mascara, Maybelline Sky High. And that's everything I used. Um, to be honest, uh, the only reason why I'm remaking this video is because I took time to put all this on to go absolutely nowhere, so I'm going to make a video anyway. And so I did. But um, this Monday-ish, I think, is when I will film a just complete get ready. I'll be much more prepared, I promise. And it's just... My hair's shedding. And it's going to be much more... Uh... It's the word I'm looking for. Prepared. Much more prepared. Much more put together. So, um, but I will see you guys then. Love you.